Uh, yeah, good evening YouTube. I just wanted to figure out a good way to show the voltage and current of this little uh, <clears throat> 1 watt LED that I put in the Craftsman C3 uh, work light. And so I've got it plugged into my bench supply. The light you see is from the work light itself. That's right there. And I'm shining it on my bench power supply. You can see we're at 6.7 volts and uh, there's 210 milliamps, 0.21 amps. And as I go up here, try say 9 volts, 100 and probably right short of 160 milliamps at 9 volts. I could go up here to uh, maybe try 12 volts. Looks like 120 milliamps at 12 volts. There were around 15 volts, and we've got about 100 milliamps. So I think the bulb actually draws a little more than uh, one watt. Right there, that's like one, 1 1.5 watts. Let's go up around 18, between 80 and 90 milliamps at 18 volts. We could try, here's the 19, still at 80 milliamps at this would be the 19.2 volts uh, nominal for the C3 batteries. Let's go up to, uh, that would be <clears throat> what the lithium uh, fully charged battery is about 20.4 and we're still at, at about eight, 80 milliamps. But there we are 25 volts at 70 milliamps so it does look like it's a little higher than one watt but it does, uh, you can see how it as the battery voltage drops the current rises but what you don't see is the light stays the same so that, that is uh, doing what it's supposed to finally about six volts you can see it starts to flicker now it's dimming at 5.6 yeah I wouldn't want to run that on a six volt battery it wouldn't wouldn't do very good but uh, looks like it's a good bulb for anything 7 volts on up to uh, 26. Now for these uh, Craftsman C3 batteries, that's a perfect light. So you're going to get maybe 80 milliamps. So you'd get, what's that, 12 and a half hours per amp hour. So a 2 amp hour battery would run uh, like a whole day. Definitely a little over 1 watt. So it's closer to... Uh, you know, right there, that's saying 1.5 watts is what it uh, uses, but yeah, still better than the uh, incandescent that's 12.3 watts, so uh, that's a savings of uh, quite a bit, about a factor of 8 or 9 less power, or less current. So yeah, I just thought I'd show that to you. It looks like the bulb does what it is rated to do, plus a little bit, so... If you're looking for a, uh, a wide range uh, LED bulb, I'll put a link in the video description. And uh, it's the only one I could find that runs up much over 12 volts. You can get car bulbs that run up to, say, 30 volts. But for a flashlight bulb, I didn't find anything over. This was the only one I found that ran up to like 26 volts. So, yeah, I'll. Uh, Put this in, uh, like say a link in the video description. I remeasured the currents with my digital voltmeter and have plotted voltage on the x axis and current and power on the y axis. Power seems to average about 1.28 watts. Uh, that should give me about a 20 hour run time on a C3 NICAD battery, so that's a tenfold increase over the uh, original Krypton bulb. So be sure to check out some of my other videos, uh, subscribe for updates, questions are welcome in the comments section below, and as always, thanks for watching.